But yeah, uh, going on uh, here, we got other things happening. So I cut this notch in here. We're gonna shove this in there and then weld it on there and then build some brackets off of this down to there to reinforce this here situation. I gotta trim out a little more right there, but it's getting close. It's almost where we want it. John's over here laying down on the job. Look at him all relaxing. So here we are. Looks like somebody showing up with a present for us. If you want to call that a present. Look at that, an LS powered boat anchor. Hey, no such thing as an LS boat anchor. Oh no? No. We're gonna go fit that into a truck. truck to put a Chevy motor in a Ford truck. There are a few things that make me happier. Mind blown! Your turn. He's a tank, bench pressing a transmission. Look at that, one handed. He's a light duty. Okay, Mike, um, other side. Okay. Dude, look at that extremely fairly flat 
floor fan we can have. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. He's excited. Mike's excited. That's all that matters. That's right. Look at all that leg room. Dude, we got so much room for activities. Okay. over there frying up some fenders. Look at this. Looking real nice. Meanwhile, I'm back here trying to figure out a receiver mount hitch doodad. So we got that sunk into there. And then this is going to go right back there. And then additionally, It'll be even more metal. You'll see. Check it out. There it is. It's on there. We got a hitch. We can tow a speedboat. Speedboat? Speed goat. Look, it's got a motor, it's got a trans transmission, it's got a hitch. It's dang near a truck. The fenders are all welded. Yeah, fenders are welded. Yeah, we just need a pole and uh, a couple drive shafts, and she's driving out of this place. So, everybody, there's been a bunch of comments about a 460, about this, about that. We measured everything in the yard. We have all those motors outside in vehicles. We measured everything. The only thing that will fit inside the hood and keep it looking factory is this motor. We've got to build motor mounts. We've got to bring it up a hair, tweak some things, change some things. But that is that is looking right there. We've got room on each side to get that to fit. We've got to make some modifications on some things. but. I think it's gonna work. I think what we're gonna the biggest thing we're gonna do is we need to push this forward, clean everything up, clean all this stuff up, and then we've got to get uh, blue in here to get the motor pulled out. Cleaning the shop up this morning. It's a new week. It's Monday. We got it all clean except for right there. So, we're pulling this motor out, put our spare motor in, because this motor is a 427 tall deck. Go ahead, Mike. Tall deck, but I would like to do some work to it. I wanted, I wanted, I don't know if we're gonna bore it or stroke it or do any of that ridiculous stuff, but I do kind of want to freshen it up. I want to do maybe a valve job. Because I know it is burning through some oil occasionally and some other things. So I think we're going to pull it out and so so that we don't have to do it all right now. <clears throat> and the cool thing is, is, this is a really cool motor. So I don't want to just order a new motor and throw it in. I want to build this motor. I like this motor. I want to build this motor. So we're going to put this motor. We're going to pull this motor out, put it on an engine stand. And then we will throw our spare motor in here and be able to keep running while, while we get this one fixed. Check it out. It's almost ready to go. We got that. We got this. We got most of the things disconnected. I got one more transmission bell housing bolt underneath that I got to deal with. I also need to support the transmission so it's not just hanging there. Try again there. Oh yeah, we got her on the run now. Yep, yep. Bingo. Victory. Up a little. Yeah, keep going a little more. Okay, hang on there. 
Oh yeah, this one has a broken off bolt too. Oh nice. He's more better. Oh. Okay, things are happening. They look like we're pretty alright. Seems like it. It didn't even move, dude. Yeah, she don't care. That thing's balanced on there. It's fine. Good job, Justin. Look at Thank you. Thank you, dude. Yeah. I, worked, yeah. I worked really hard. <laughs> that, that's my biggest hope is to like go through and do some new seals that we didn't do when we had it apart. If you have to. Yeah, do do some stuff, upgrade some things, make some better life choices. Tacoma. Takioma. Ooh, we found the oil leak. Right there. From right there. Right out of the intake. Yeah, right there. The usual spot. That's the usual spot. See? All this little stuff that we can fix and address, I'm excited. Okay. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, all you guys. You're doing great. Don't hurt your fingers. Ta da! Okay, Mike. Your turn. My turn. Your turn to shine. Yeah. <laughs> your time to shine. See, I was just gonna do this while you guys were holding it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that makes the most sense. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Oh, Watch your head. This is heavy. Make sure you lift with your back. This is completely OSHA certified. Okay, cool. Harmonic balancer. <laughs> Harmonic balancer. Harmonica. I like the, the <laughs> backside one time. But yeah, so this one here, the uh, threads just came out on the end of the bolt. It was pretty convenient. I'd just like to point out right now that this hole feels questionable at best. I'm not responsible for what happens to it. It's almost gonna bite that. Keep going. What am I spraying? Yeah, yeah, just just all in the general vicinity here on it. It's doing good thing. Mike's getting his Monday, Tuesday morning workout. Hell yeah, I got to get in shape for the record games. Or, no, off-road games. Okay, we're going lefty now. Oh, yeah. Damn. Ooh. So we got this motor from a fan. He's from Denver. Yeah, that's. we need to do a little backstory on that. Yeah. So last year at... Uh, well, it was right when I swamped the motor in Trail Mater. Wow! wow. <laughs> Shot me some pictures, he boroscoped it, checked it all out, checked compression, all that stuff, and I said, sure, I was interested. So he actually brought it down to Farmington at Wee Rock and delivered it to us. And so it's just been sitting in the Connex, and so now we have a spare big block for when I swamp one, but we're trying to be proactive now. <laughs> and really yeah, and <laughs> fix it before we have issues. So we, we're gonna address that motor, so we're gonna run this one for a while while we get that one dialed in, so then we can swap it back out, because I really want that 427 tall deck. I really like that motor, and I wanna keep it in this truck. Hey, does this have a dipstick in it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it comes with me. Ain't got no oil in it. Ain't got no oil in it! Every time I think it's done, I try it again. Then it goes a little more. Just a little bit more. So, check it out. See right here how this is not a straight line anymore? Oh, there's a crack. And it starts there. 
comes around behind this bolt right at the end of my finger there goes to about right there Ooh. we've broken this bell housing before and had to re-weld her yeah and it is now broken again look at this it's Ooh. fully broken that's super duper broken i don't know how this thing still drove like it's broke from here all the way down like Whoa. Okay, yeah, no, we aren't welding this in place. You gotta pull it out? Yeah, this has gotta come out. This thing, is, it's gonna hold up for about four more starts. Wow, Look up here. Put up like two minutes ago. It's super light. Six tiny little bolts. Hold this whole mess together. SFI foundation certified. We don't even know what that means for July of 23. So it's out of date already. <laughs> that was so last year. That was so last year. <laughs> date of manufacture. Whatever. You don't know. <laughs> Ooh, it's slippery down in here. Yeah, don't die. We need you. Don't die after the race. Hurrah! Nope. It's stronger than me, turns out. But look. You move it pretty far. Oh, 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 there it is. He Man, super strong. That had. That's still a lot holding it. Well, that, the one bolt that was, is broken. Was it the broken one? Oh. I've never said these words before, but you should get run a guard. <laughs> oh. oh, come on. <laughs> You're paid up on your insurance, all right? <laughs> Just hang on tight. Just Don't let go. PP. <laughs> what? A face shield. Can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> huh? like, I'm right? kind of digging that, yeah. All right. I think, I think that'll work. <laughs> this sweet light it's really bright yeah. but get yours then harbor freight. harbor freight yeah these things kick butt i would highly recommend it i got it all ground down till it finally sat flush against the pump there got the right bolts in there with the washers and i put on a bunch of loctite and then on the bottom two holes here i even put on some of this uh thread sealant the white thread sealant and so now I think we're down to the point where we put in the uh, torque and squirter. Torque and squirter, right there. Yeah. There we go. I think it went in. Three clicks. I mean, it probably rides right there. How far is in it? Like, yeah, measure between. Let me get. Uh, okay. I can tell you right now. We're at only like maybe three quarter. We can see where it's hitting, and that would be all the way around, right there. So. Yay, more challenges. We have to call the boss and let him know what's going on. He's gonna be mad. You guys be quiet. Yeah. Hey, uh, so we've encountered a new challenge. The torque converter doesn't seat all the way in and it's rubbing on that housing. 
by how much? I'd say at least an eighth, probably a little more. But it doesn't feel like it's put in. Yeah, I don't think it's fully seated all the way quite yet. So we have to go with a smaller converter. Yeah, either we pick up a smaller converter or grind the case. It's hitting like dead even all the way around. Hang on one, hang on one second. Trees. Put your gloves. You need gloves too. Oh, he can't hear me now. <laughs> what? Here in a second, he's gonna get his foot up there. Yeah. Get leg day in. <laughs> get some legs. <laughs> Depending on how long your cord is, they can go for a while. <laughs> Same rule still applies. Never let go. <laughs> 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 Just keep hanging out. <laughs>